بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم توفیق تائید ہمت یاری توفیق تائید ہمت یاری سب سے پہلے تمام ساتھیوں سے گزارش ہے کہ اپنے میوٹس کو آن رکھیں اور ٹوڈ دی این سبمٹ دی کوشچن ان دی چیٹ سیشن پلیز بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر ڈسکسنگ آر دعا فرسٹ آئی گو ٹو اسٹارٹ بائی سمر رائزنگ وٹ وی ہیو آلریڈی کورڈ ان دا فرسٹ پارٹ وی لرن وٹ از دا ڈفرینس بٹوین دا ٹرانسلیشن اینڈ دا مینگ In every part of our dua, there are surahs and ayat from the Qur'an, which is in the form of tanzeeb, whereas our religion is batin. We need to understand the meaning which is hidden. There is a firman of Mawlana Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, may our souls be sacrificed to this Imam. He says, You must recite your prayers by understanding its deeper mysteries. The only way to capture the mystery of prayers is to understand each and every word that is recited. The way to God is based on its meaning. Puna, June 28, 1908. Then there's a hadith. Indeed, the Qur'an has an apparent, zahir, and a hidden aspect. And the hidden also has hidden up to seven hidden aspects. Alhamdulillah, understanding based on this, we are learning the batini meaning of our dua. We also learned about the dot, the period under the alphabet bay. The word, the alphabet ba, the dot of Bismillah, now we know, is actually Ali, Mawla Ali, who is the door of the Quran. As we know the Hadith, Ana Darul Hikmata wa Ali Babuha. I am the house of wisdom and Ali is the door. So, Quran being the house of wisdom and Ali is the door. So when we enter into the Quran through Surah Fatiha, which is the first Surah in our Dua, we have to enter through Ali. No one can enter anywhere without a door. So we begin the recitation of Dua with the name of Ali. Ali is the Noor of Allah in this world. Hence, Ali Allah. So dua meaning would be like this for the first part. I begin by the name of Ali Allah who is the most beneficent, the most merciful. He nourishes all the personal worlds. He is the most beneficent, the merciful. The Lord of the resurrection is no one else but Ali Allah. We worship him with this knowledge and understanding. We seek help to continue to walk fast on this path, the path on he is pleased with, not of those who went in wrong direction, as did not seek knowledge to recognize the true law, and not of those who are ignorant. O oh, Ali, with the knowledge of certainty, I prostrate in front of you. O oh, Ali, you are my strength, my courage and the path on which I walk on. You nourish all the personal words. We send salwat on you and your progeny. And let us follow oh, the chosen and pure progeny of Muhammad and Ali, with whom Allah is pleased. Ali, who is the proof and the holder of your command, You are the Lord of the time of Asr, meaning the time of resurrection. My prostration and obedience is to you, O Ali. Shuru Ali Allah ke naam se jo bada mehrban nihayat rahim wala hai. Wo tamam alam-e shakhsiyat ko pa 
आलमे वाला है आलम शख्स ही मीनिंग आर पर्सनल वर्ड्स सो ही इज द वन हु नरिश ऑल द पर्सनल वर्ड तमाम आलमीन को पालने वाला बहुत रहमान और मेहरबान क्यामत के दिन का मालिक कोई और नहीं मौला अली है हम उन्हीं की इबादत करते हैं क्योंकि हम अब हम मौला को इल्म की रोशनी में जानते और समझते हैं हम इस सीधे राह पर चलते हैं क्योंकि ये सीधा रास्ता वो रास्ता है जिस पर तू राजी है जिससे तू खुश है जिस पर तूने इनामात भेजे ना कि उनका रास्ता जो गलत रास्ते पे मुड़ गए ना ही उनका जो ला इल जाहिल रह गए ओ अली तू तेरी ही तरफ हम सजदा करते हैं इल्मुल यकीन के मकाम से याली तू ही मेरी ताकत मेरी कुत और तू ही मेरा रास्ता जिस पर मैं चलती हूँ या मौला तू ही हमारे आलमीन हमारी पर्सनल वर्ल्ड को पाने वाला है तुझ पर ही हम सलवार भेजते हैं ओ आल नबी जो के चोजन है सेलेक्टेड है और मौला अली जो के पसंदीदा है अल्लाह आप पर राजी है और हम आप पर सलवार भेजते हैं या मौला तू ही हुज्जत है और अमर का मालिक है और साहेब कियामत है लॉर्ड ऑफ द टाइम ऑफ असर जो कि कियामत का वक्त है मेरा सजदा मेरी ताबेदारी और मौला अली तेरे ही लिए है तेरी ही तरफ है सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह शुक्र अलहमद लाला तमाम साथियों को एक बार फिर याली मदद आपने अभी हमारे पहले सेशंस का कुछ खुलासा सुना और इसकी अहमियत को दोबारा से हमने यहाँ पर इम्फिसाइज किया कि किस तरह से दुआ की मीनिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट then just knowing the translation of it क्योंकि अगर हम सिर्फ translation की बात करते हैं तो फिर बहुत सारे concept बहुत सारे मायने जो deeper understanding हमारे मजहब की है वो बाहर रह जाती है अलग रह जाती है और हम उसको नहीं समझ पाते हैं so thank you for that today we will start dua part 2 and of course if you still have any question from dua part 1 do send at the end of the session in the task in our dua part 2 you will see that there are two different ayat combined into one और वो आयत जो है वो इस तरह से है एक सराय निशा आयत नंबर 59 से लिया गया है और दूसरा हिस्सा सराय यासीन जो सराय नंबर 36 है उसकी 12 नंबर की आयत से लिया गया है तो ये दो अलेदा अलेदा आयतों का मुरक्कब है कॉम्बिनेशन है जो हमारे दुआ के आगाज के अंदर यानी कि दूसरे पार्ट के आगाज के अंदर हम पढ़ते हैं सो इन वी विल गो इनटू द मीनिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इट इन अ मिनट सो लेट्स हियर द आयत एंड देन सम ऑफ द ट्रांसलेशन जी बिस्मिल्लाह। बिस्मिल्लाहमान अति उल्लाहा 
Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, since we already understood and we have emphasized so much on the Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and we understand that we begin anything and everything in our life in the name of Allah, who is Rahman. and rahim so today we will not go into the explanation or the meaning or batin of that we already understood that so let's start with this first ayat the first piece of the ayat which is ya ayyuhal ladina amanu this ayat are amongst those ayat in the Quran which gives us principle of the Islam principle of the deen and the habit the habit that Allah has laid down for the believers and here the underlined word is believers क्योंकि जो यकीन नहीं करते हैं उसके लिए ये है ही नहीं क्यों कि कुरान जो है वो किताब है उनके लिए जो यकीन करते हैं जो ईमान लाते हैं जो बिलीवर्स हैं जो मोमिन हैं सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द कुरान and that is that obey allah and then obey rasul so i'm going to stop here for a second and understand that for those who say we do not need anyone else we will directly we will directly pray to allah as allah for the help as all our mushkilat san to the allah think about this for a second and then answer khudaan taala farmate hain ke aap itaat kar rahe hain follow kar rahe hain allah ko aur rasool ko and we have not finished the ayat yet pehle i want you to lay down this understanding and the principle for those who says we will directly ask allah meaning all my itihad my following my prostration and everything will be toward allah and allah only and if you say that then this ayat is not for you meaning this principle that allah has given in surah nisa ayat number 59 is no longer valid for you because you are not the one that allah is talking to because allah is talking to the believers the believers mu'minin the iman walon se ye kaha ja raha hai kya kaha ja raha hai اتی اللہ و اتی رسول خدا کی اطاعت کرو اور خدا کیا بولتا ہے رسول کی اطاعت کرو دو سو وین وی ریسائڈ دس پارٹ آف آور دعا ان بیک آف آور مائنڈ وی مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دی پرنسپل اے کانسیپٹ آف the ayat and the saying in our dua in one of the farman molawba talks about that that when and if 
देखें यहां पर वर्ड जो है वेन एंड इफ अगर आप दुआ पढ़ते हैं अगर आप दुआ पढ़ते हैं और जब आप दुआ पढ़ते हैं वेन एंड इफ यू रीड द आयात ऑफ द कुरान इट मस्ट इट मस्ट प्रेजेंट अ कॉन्सेप्ट टू यू तो हमने देखा कि यहां पर एक कॉन्सेप्ट एक प्रिंसिपल छुपाया हुआ है एंड दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू लर्न दैट वेन वी रिसाइड दिस सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आवर दुआ एंड वेन वी स्टार्ट विद दिस आयत इट मस्ट रिप्रेजेंट अ कॉन्सेप्ट टू अस अ प्रिंसिपल टू अस एंड दैट प्रिंसिपल इंशाला टूडे वेन वी रिसाइड दि दुआ वी विल हैव दिस इन बैक ऑफ आवर माइंड दैट इतहाद करनी है अल्लाह की वी विल ओबे अल्लाह एंड बाई हिज फरमान बाई विथ हिज अमर वी विल ओबे रसूल टेक ए लुक एट दिस पार्ट या अयुहल लजीना आ मनो ओ यू हु बिलीव याद रखें कि ये उनके लिए नहीं है कि जो यकीन नहीं रखते हैं ये आयत स्टार्ट विद सेंग ओ यू हु बिलीव मोमिनो ईमान वालों अल्लाह की इतिहास करो और अल्लाह के फरमान के मुताबिक रसूल की इतिहास करो Now having this understanding, let's see what other principle is hidden in this very short one-line ayat. Atiyu la wa atiyu rasul wa ulil amr minkum. And those amongst you with amr ilahi. So you follow Allah, and by His amr, you follow Rasul. and by his amar you follow those amongst you with amar kiska amar khuda ka amar kiska amar rasool ka amar kyunki khuda ne apna amar rasool ko diya hai whom god has given his amar to rasool and who rasool has given his amar to imam e zaman the ali e zaman the aimae tairin the pure imams and the alabahat the progeny of the rasul and ali they have the amar of allah today that means that we should follow allah and after him rasul and after him the imam because we have imam in front of us today we do not have rasul because this is not the time of the prophecy or prophethood but the time of the imamat and because we are following the amar of allah then we must follow his amar by doing what he had told us to do and that is to follow uski itaat karo kiski the one amongst you with the amar now there may be a question in somebody's mind how do we know it is the imam with the amar why not kasam bhai why not karim bhai why not somebody else why not some molana how do we know that allah is talking about the imam and imam only that is exactly what imam says that when and if you read the quran you should know the meaning of it so i am there are few quranic ayat and i will invite you all to do some personal search and look for it and look for it and see you find those ayat which talks about 
that it is the imam who has the amar imam hamare amar se tumko hidayat karta hai quran farmata hai ke imam hamare amar se tumko hidayat karta hai aur aapko dusri kafi ayate milengi jisme aapko teen ka concept milenga allah मोहम्मद और नूर का कांसेप्ट। सो अगेन अति उल्लाह व अति व रसूल व उल्लिल अम्र मिंकुम। बाय द वे द रिफरेंस ऑफ द अमरे इमाम इज़ 32-24 सूरा 32-24 एंड डू some research and find other surahs in which you will find who is the one amongst you with the Amar. Personal search. Let's come to the second part of the uh, this ayat which is taken from Surah Yaseen ayat number 12. Vakulle shayin असनाओ फी इमाम मुबीन वी हैव इनकम्पस एवरीथिंग इन मैनिफेस्टेड इमाम आई एम गोइंग टू एस सम क्वेश्चन एंड आई विल आंसर देम फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस आयत इफ यू गो इन टू द कुरान नंबर वन This is just a part of Surah Yaseen, ayat number 12. It's not the complete ayat, but a part is taken from that ayat for the benefit for us to understand who the Imam is. But here it says everything is encompassed in Imam. Tamam chizo ko. इमाम जमान के अंदर रखा हुआ है इफ वी टेक दिस आयात विदाउट द मीनिंग वी टेक इट लिटरली एंड फिजिकली एस्क क्वेश्चन टू योर सेल्फ इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर एवरीथिंग टू बी इन द इमाम इतना बड़ा गांव है इतना बड़ा शहर है इतना बड़ा घर है और इतनी बड़ी गाड़ियां हैं दुनिया में क्या क्या चीजें नहीं है और दुनिया वर्ब आर ऑल यूनिवर्स इतने बड़े बड़े प्लैनेट्स हैं हाउ कैन एवरीथिंग बी इन इमाम मुबीन हाउ हाउ कैन इट बी इसको समझने के लिए हमको इन चीजों की हकीकत को समझना होगा सो वॉट डू वी नीड टू डू टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ इट टू अंडरस्टैंड the haqeeqat the true essence of everything since every single thing has a soul and the understanding and the ilm so ilm of all things the knowledge and the essence and the soul of all things are encompassed in the imam aapko quran ke andar surah bakra ke andar ye baat milengi ki khudaavan taala ne aadam ko har cheez ka ilm sikhaya tha you will find this in surah bakra that allah had taught the knowledge of all things to adam because we believe the same soul the same nur there was in adam there was in ibrahim there was in muhammad there was in ali murtaza is in imam e zaman today then imam e zaman has the knowledge the soul and the essence of all things imam has 
two huge attribution amongst lot of other attribution that we will not talk about it but just two if you can just remember these two one he has a clay coal the universal intellect and dusra nafse coal universal soul in the universal intellect and in universal soul he encompass the knowledge of all thing and the essence and the soul of all thing because he has the universal intellect aklekul universal soul nafsekul that's how he encompass everything let's come to the second part second half of that ayat imam e mubin kahan par rakha hai sabko fi andar imam e mubin dekho if you read the quran and if you only know the translation or only read the translation you will see the danger of just knowing the translation and not knowing the meaning and now you will understand even more further why imam emphasize on the meaning of the dua not the translation of the dua so if you pick up the quran and there are so many different translation so let's say there are 100 different translation of the quran 80 to 90% of the translation of the quran you will see they will not take the imam e mubin as manifested imam but they will say in the book in the book when you reading the ayat there is no word book kitab there is no word kitab in this ayat then how can translation be that everything is encompassed in the book and you will be surprised to find that and i will challenge you to go pick up the quran 80 to 90% of the translation will be incorrect translation not the ayat not the kalam e ilahi but the translation because they don't believe in imam they have no reason to say imam e mubin याद रखें कि हम ईमान वालों की बात कर रहे हैं यहां पर इमाम मुबीन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अनदर प्रिंसिपल एंड द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कुरान एट दिस पॉइंट सो पे अटेंशन टू दिस बिकॉज दिस मेक बिकम रियली रियली हैंडी फॉर यू इफ यू आर टॉकिंग टू समवन हु इम्फिसाइज ऑन द ट्रांसलेशन एंड द जाहिर the tanzil of the quran but we are talking about the batin and the tawil of the quran imam e mu bin yahan par ye jo mu bin hai wo arabic ke alfazon ko samajhne se iski maane samajh mein aati hai mu jo meem se nikla hua hai arabic and urdu ke andar when do you use a mim or mu when you are trying to say uske upar uske andar usse within on it or from it so if you want to say something ki yahan se yahan tak from this point to this point you will use what word mu jisko mim kehte hain hum urdu mein aur arabic mein mu bin किसी चीज के ऊपर किसी चीज से जब यूज बोलना होता है तो यू यूज वर्ड मीम मुबीन इमाम ए मुबीन मीनिंग इमाम विच यू कैन सी विथ योर आइस क्योंकि बीन का जो वर्ड है वो बिनाई से आया है द वर्ड बीन इज फ्रॉम द विजन your light your eyesight your eyesight 
कौन से इमाम में सब चीजें रखी हुई है इन विच इमाम एवरीथिंग इज इन कंपस देर इमाम विच यू कैन सी विथ योर आईज मू बीन विथ योर आई साइड दे वन यू कैन सी इसीलिए इसके आगे जो हम वर्ड यूज करते हैं इंग्लिश में मैनिफेस्टेड इमाम मैनिफेस्टेड मीनिंग बिकॉज ही हेज मैनिफेस्टेड यू कैन सी हिम ही इज क्लियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ही इज विजिबल टू यू नॉट द इमाम विच इज गायब नॉट द इमाम दैट यू डोंट सी now we have clear understanding of this part of this ayat that we have encompass the knowledge the essence and the soul of all things in the imam which you can see with your eyes he is in front of you and you can see him so let me stop here for a second जी बिस्मिल्लाहिंग Almoid Fitin Shirazi says there are people who imagine that they can acquire this knowledge by themselves they find faults with the imams and turn away from their teachings these people can never reach the goal they will always be grouping in the dark so validating what we are learning that through these references that those who believe this verse when it says ya ayyuhal lazina o who you believe believe in allah believe in his rasul and believe in imam so this is only spoken to those who are believers and what we have learned just now that if we are the believers we have to read the quran if we do not know the arabic we can read the transliteration to know what is being said in the quran because the translations can be different based on their beliefs we'll go further now allahumma ya maulana antas salam o ali allah you are the salamati wa minka salam from you is salamati wa ilaika yarja'u salam to you salamati returns hayna rabna bis salam give us life o oh my rab with salamati wa khilna dar as salam admit us in the house of salamati tabarak ta rabna wa alayta ya zal jalali wal ikram you are the pure our rab and the most high lord <coughs> lord of majesty and generosity Lord of glory and honor. So we are praying for salamati and praying to be admitted in the house of salamati. And now we know the salamati is Mola himself. He is the salamati. So we are seeking him. We are praying to him for complete protection and peace. Meaning, no death. As we are praying, give us life. that means we do not want to die we do not want to ever die and in farman mola says in zanzibar august 17 1905 he says we are your guide no one else is your guide you have given your hands to us and you are under our protection meaning mola is saying to us that we are under his protection we are under his salamati the question would be if we are under his protection why do we die subhanallah subhanallah very good question to think about so while everyone is thinking about this question 
then if we are under his protection why do we die so let's start with the understanding of this part of the dua which is literally is a dua a prayer in the dua this is the prayer yani ki hum dua mangte hain khuda se kis cheez ki dua mangte hain hum and remember we raise our hand aur jahan par hum haath uthate hain that is symbol that we are asking for something praying for something or begging for something so what are we asking for or begging for or praying for so let's see if we can understand this part again i will need your complete attention because this is something which you may not have ever heard because in the translation you will not see this part this is the deeper batini meaning of the dua allahumma ya maulana anta salam very simple words we all agree o oh allah or o oh ali allah you are salamati we all agree on this part we all agree on this one wa minkum salam wa minkas salam from you is a salamati again we all agree on this part that he is the salamati and salamati is from him so so far we all agree on this two portion of this prayer now the third one is a questionable walaika yarju salam and all salamati returns back to him now there is a question confusion if he is the salamati and from him is the salamati and if the salamati returns back to him to fir hum gareeb hoga kya hoga what will happen to us we were asking him for salamati it is the salamati from him he is full of salamati and we receive the salamati from him but then the salamati returns back to him aur hum khali ke khali hath reh jate hain what happen here we must we must know the meaning of the dua we must understand the meaning the batin of our dua when we don't we are just saying things for the sake of saying things because here in the first and second we all agree with, with each other but the third part is questionable why is it questionable why would you say that i would have any question in our dua in our holy dua why would there be a question the reason this question is because i believe that we have not understood our dua yet but after today inshallah we will have no problem and we will have no question so let's understand this the word salamati word salamati how do we understand this word ke khuda jo hai wo salamati hai khuda salamati hai at to khuda is above all else imam salamati hai at aur imam was everything not just salamati his rahman his rahim he kafur you know he is everything why is he just salamati so we can say okay that it is salamati from him i agree 100% now the reason we call him that he is salamati because salamati is from him again what does salamati means salamati means that he has a life 
he has a soul which never ever dies imam ke paas ek aisi zindagi hai salamati wali imam has a life with salamati jo kabhi bhi nahi marti hai wo zindagi kabhi bhi khatam nahi hoti hai there is a reason that we have imam after imam after imam after imam nuran allah nur imam is always and always and always present why because he has a life of salamati uske paas ek zindagi hai jo salamati wali hai ever living hai never dying hai ab surah furqan ke andar ja kar dekhein ayat number 58 ke andar to aapko ye principle milega again जो खुदा मन तला रसूल सल्लाम को फरमाते हैं क्या फरमाते हैं और रसूल ओनली पुचो तवक्ल योर ट्रस्ट इन दैट हु इज अल हई नेवर डाइंग ला यमूत नेवर डाइंग अल हई एवर प्रेजेंट एर एवर लिविंग ला यमूत नेवर डाइंग even allah's amar and hukum the farman to rasul is to only put his trust in the one who is al hayy ever living who is la yamut never dying yahi baat hamari dua ke andar yahan par hai ki ya mola tere paas ek aisi zindagi hai jo salamati ke sath hai al hayy hai और ला यमूत है हमेशा जिंदा है कभी नहीं मरती है नाउ द सेकंड थिंग वेर वी से फ्रॉम यू इज अ सलामती फ्रॉम यू वी कैन रिसीव द लाइफ वो जिंदगी जो कभी भी खत्म नहीं होगी अगेन क्वेश्चन कम्स टू माइंड लेकिन हम तो कल मर जाएंगे वी विल डाई टूमारो राइट There's one thing is certain, for sure, hundred percent that everyone who's born will die. Then what are we talking about here? What we are saying at this point that Ya Allah, the life that you have, the ever living salamati that you have, give us that salamati to our soul. So may my soul become one with you. and because you will not die i will not die tu mere ko wo salamati de mere ko wo ruh de wo noor de jo tere paas hai because you have the salamati from you is the salamati tumse mujhe salamati hai give me the life let me become one with you in your soul and in your noor so i may never die as you never die ab the third part jo tha wo humko samajh mein aane laga now there is no more question and to you salamati returns iska kya matlab hua ki hamari wo zindagi jo hamesha ki zindagi hai wo teri taraf lot jayengi because now we have a zindagi a soul which is ever living it will return back to the imam kyunki wo zinda hai wo hamesha hai aur abhi humko usne wo zindagi di hai because he is the life and he has given us the same soul and the life that ever living life of salamati will return back to him now this makes all the sense and logic you see the power in knowing the meaning of the dua allahumma ya maulana anta salam wa minka salam wa laka yarju salam and look at the next word hayna because you may ask where does he say to give me a life 
right here in this word. Haina Rabna Bisalam. Haina, the one who is ever living. Zindagi Dene Wala. Jo Kuz Zinda hai, hum ko bhi zinda karta hai. The one who has a life, who is ever living, not only he is living, but he can also make you like himself ever living by giving you the life of salamati iska dusra word jo hai rabna rabna palne wala wo kisko palta hai wo hamari ruh ko palta hai and we had talked about that in our first part and we all remember jahan par humne imam jafar sadiq ki baat ki thi ke imam farmate hain ke ye mere liye hai ये हमारे इमामों के लिए है कि हम रबल आलमीन है रबल आलमीन तमाम जानों को पालने वाले यहां पर जहान यूनिवर्स आउटर नहीं है इनर है आवर पर्सनल वर्ल्ड की बात हो रही है यहां पर हईना गिव अस अ लाइफ रबना ओ माय नरिशर रबल आलमीन ओ माय रबल आलमीन Give me the life of salamati so I may never die. Wa dikhlna daris salam and enter me into the home of salamati. Ab ye ghar kaun sa hai salamati ka? It's clear as a daylight now to us. Aur wo kya hai? Ki ya imam ya hamare mola You are the home of salamati. You are the living paradise. You are the living imam in which is the place of salamati. So please enter me into that home of salamati. I'm going to take one more minute and I'm going to talk about this part this prayers in reverse for benefit of understanding this part just think about this okay this is just for our learning if i read from the bottom up and let's say this makes more sense to us o oh, imam enter me into your home of salamati so i may receive the life of salamati so i may return back to you because you are the salamati and from you is the salamati ye iska matlab hoga agar hum usko niche se upar padhte hain for our understanding otherwise i believe we have understood this part clearly but if you have any question do ask ji so the answer to the question that when we are under the protection of imam why do we die so it is not the physical death we are talking about when we are saying hayna rabna bisalam we are praying to be born or to be coming to life at a level of spirituality and intellectuality so this life is ever living life because imam is always living he is ever living so the word al hayy the hayyana word is from word al hayy which means the one who is living and the one who can bring you to life so it's the miracle of the name of allah the al hayy who is ever living in other words we know this word as in our prayer we say asal mein wasal what is the asal asal is the origin the salamati in that when we are alive when we are living we are one with the living universal soul with him we are always living now these quranic references are p by 2 2 by 55 and 20 by 111 
So let me read 3 by 2 and 2 by 255 has the same reference. Allahu la ilaha illa huwal hayyul qayyum. Allah, there is no God, but He, the living, the sustainer of all existence, the eternal. Alhay, the word Alhay we are focusing, who is ever living. So it is the word Alhay, the miracle of Alhay, that He is living and He can bring us to life. Allah ke siwa koi mahbub nahi, jo zinda or sabka nigeban. Now we know that He is zinda how? Through the concept of Nurun Allah Nur. He is always living. Salamati returns to you. Beautifully explained that those who will return to Mawla in Salamati, meaning that they would attain this majiza, this miracle of becoming alive through the miracle of Al Hay. When they are living, when they are alive, they will enter the house of Salamati. And this concept actually has been taught to us by our Peer, Peer Sadardin. He says, Tariye tu tarar, hare khudavan, avar na tariye tu ja koi ali, tu hi tu. Oh God, save us, because you are the only savior. Nobody else beside you can save us. Oh Ali, save us. So Mola Ali, who is the Alhai, and he is the one who can make us, who can bring us to life. Physically, we may be alive, but the question here is, are we spiritually and intellectually alive or not? Because it is this knowledge of certainty that is giving us this knowledge and understanding that probably we are not alive. Zinda Numa Murda, living death. When we understand this dua, we are actually praying to come to life with the majiza of al -Hay. So, we can enter in the house of Salamati. So, the key concept here is that we want to become alive and enter in the house of Salamati. We do hear this dua when, when somebody dies. In dua, three times we recite this dua. Now we understand it that when we say it, we are asking Mola to bring us to life the way he is, he is alive. Meaning that we do not need to die to be Asal Mevasal. During our lifetime, we can get to his Didar, Ruhani and Nurani Didar, by entering into the house of Salamati. And then I would like to just comment about this beautiful verse. 25 by 58, which we reviewed already, then rely upon the ever living. Exactly the same verse Peer has taught us in, in the Gina. That no matter what, if you rely on the ever living, meaning the Al Hai, who will Hai Yul Kayyum, Tariye Tu Taran, Hare Kudav. If we understand our Dua in the way we are understanding with the help of Quranic knowledge, it makes us understand that. We do not need to depend on people to pray for us when we are dead. During our lifetime, we can attain that rank where we are one with the Imam in the house of Salamat. Alhamdulillah, this dua is so beautiful that we can talk and talk and never end it. Beautiful uh, concept Mawla has given to us in this dua. So I would end here. If anyone has any comment or any question, please come forward. Send your questions through chat so we can talk about it. Thank you. I see one question here. I believe she is asking. So it's more like a comment. That Salamati, the word Salamati, meaning a zindagi of ever living. And how do we ever live in Imam. So like I said earlier that when we are praying there is a concept which should come into our mind that Ya Mola when I die physically 
I would like to be merged in you, Fanafi Imam, Asal Me Vasal, because you are ever living. यानी कि हम जानते हैं कि इमाम तो कभी नहीं मरता है इमाम हमेशा दुनिया में हाजिर और मौजूद है जिंदा है एंड बिकॉज यू आर एवर लिविंग या मोला आई एम प्रेइंग टू यू गी मी द सलामती गी मी द लाइफ ऑफ एवर लिविंग लाइफ दैट यू हैव सो आई मे रिटर्न बैक टू यू विद दिस कंप्लीट एंड एवर लिविंग लाइफ जो कभी भी खत्म नहीं होने वाली है दस और दिस मीन्स सलामती थैंक यू I thought bayan and mubin was linked with speech and making clear by the way of explanation. G. So remember, there are so many root words in Arabic, just as we have it in our English language or Urdu language. So the word bean. वो बयान से भी निकलता है यानी कि बयान का रूट वर्ड भी बीन है और देखने का रूट वर्ड भी बीन है आई साइट बिनाई जिसको कहते हैं हम बिनाई का वर्ड जो है वो भी बीन सा है बयान का जो वर्ड है वो भी बीन सा है यानी कि दोनों का जो रूट वर्ड है वो सेम है लेकिन चूंकि यहां पर उससे आगे जो है मैनिफेस्टेड इमाम इमाम मुबीन चूंकि यहां पर हम एक ऐसे इमाम की बात करते हैं जो हमारे सामने है वी आर टॉकिंग बार इमाम हु इज एवर लिविंग और वो मैनिफेस्टेड है बिकॉज ये मैनिफेस्टेड का जो इंग्लिश में वर्ड है वो मुबीन से आया है समथिंग दैट यू कुड सी विथ जो मुंह है ना मुंह बीन विथ योर आईस अगर यहां पर बयान का वर्ड होता तो फिर क्या होता कि जिसको तुम अपनी अक्कल से देख सकते हो यानी कि सीख कर सीख कर यानी कि नॉलेज लेकर आप देख सकते हो सो या मे बी अदर्स डोंट सी इमाम बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव द नॉलेज देन या why not but because we are talking about us as an smiley we are saying that everything is encompassed in the imam which i can see with my own eyes yahan par ek aur wajah hai is mayne ke kyunki kuch musliman kehte hain ki imam to hai lekin gayab hai hum dekh nahi sakte hain इसलिए यहां पर जरूरी हो गया बिकॉज समे देर इज इमाम बट दे आर हिडन सो देन इट इज नेसेसरी एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इमाम विच वी कैन सी विथ आवर आईज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैर इमाम नॉट द इमाम विच वी कैन नॉट सी इज नॉट ए हिडन इमाम बट अ मैनिफेस्टेड इमाम थैंक यू Good question. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. There is one more question. How can we understand the concept of salamati in the light of the verse two by one fifty six, which says, "Kalu anna lillahi wa inna lehe rajoon." Kalu inna lillahi wa inna lehe rajoon. G, because this is from us. Surah Bakra, ayat number 155, 156. It is exactly same concept given to us from the different side. And what there was that we are from Allah and we are returning back to Allah. But in our du'a, what we are saying that we are Allah, we understand. 
we are from you we all understand actually muslim or no muslim we all understand that we have become alive human body and one day we will die and we will go back to our origin most people don't know where their origin is they don't know where is their origin when we say ya allah we are from you we don't even know where allah is and we will return back to you where but in smali tarika in our concept of tarika we know where we are from we are from the soul of the imam which is the universal soul and when we pray what we are saying that don't make me wait i know i will return back to you but i don't want to wait as soon as i die physically i want it to be with you instantly and i only can become with you one instantly if you have given me the soul a living soul then i can become one with you because you are living soul because they are both one and the same then i will become one with you so there is two different concept we are talking about one a concept of fanafi imam and one concept of living dying and then taking our time to be one with the imam i hope this makes it more clear g one last one i don't see any more questions if no questions then we'll end here <coughs> Thank you so much Yali Mata thank you for joining us on Sunday morning this is such a beautiful gathering and we this is all praises of Maula um understanding our dua gives us so much of happiness to see you all here thank you so much for joining Yali Mata Nawazish Yali Mata thank you everybody thank you our friends online for helping us with the references promptly and quickly Thank you and thank you Nama Saiba for helping this morning Yali Madad Yali Madad Yali Madad and thank you Yali Madad Yali Madad